welcome back to This Was Tarot. Uh, my name's Corey. Uh, we're going to do a reading that was actually requested by one of my uh, new subscribers. I want to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my current subscribers, old subscribers, everyone that has, I mean, like my channel kind of doubled in size today and I am beyond grateful. So um, if you see on, I did a karma reading, uh, there is like this, I'm going to do um a five free readings five free 10 minute personal readings um for people who once we get to 100 subscribers for anyone that comments on that uh what is their karma pick a card reading so go check out that reading um hopefully it resonates with you um but just spreading the word here but so this reading uh is another pick a card and so uh the request was it was do people regret hurting you um and i'm gonna kind of like go off on that a little bit more you know like what do they have going on now and we'll just see what's going on um so um go ahead and get in your mind um anyone that you're thinking of um you know what i mean <clears throat> on whether you know you know what i'm saying um, and we will, I'm just going to hold up three different decks here, like I've been doing. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with this one. This is the Soul's Journey. Uh, the fairy oracle wisdom here in the middle <laughs> and then uh, reawakening the soul for pile three with the diamond here uh, so go ahead and just take a couple minutes let me redo that okay all right I'll give you a couple minutes here or a couple seconds or pause the video if you need to just use your intuition uh, to go ahead and make a decision I pulled out a bunch more decks, so who knows what'll happen. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with this today. All right, pile one. Okay, pile one. All right, where do we wanna start? All right. So pile one, the people that hurt pile one, the people or person that hurt pile one, do they regret it? Do they regret it? Do they regret it? Okay. Do people regret having pile one? Oh yeah. Uh, pile one, I do feel like this was probably a romantic situation, the person that you're thinking about here. Um, they do, and here's why. <laughs> here's why. Uh, because they see where you're going, pile two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and they are definitely in their feels right now. Woo they are in their feels because I feel like you gave this person a lot of options like not a lot of options but a lot of chances and every single time every single time they were just like mm, I don't think I'm gonna stay I'm gonna go type time yeah their intentions uh, were never solid um, but yeah, they doubted, they doubted you. They doubted who you were, they doubted where you were headed. Um, and now this person definitely, yes, they definitely regret hurting you. Um, because here's the thing, is you are content right where you are without them. <laughs> and you know, they say people want what they can't have, right? I feel like, so now here's the thing is, 
given that you break down and you let this person in again, um, would they stay? I don't know because like, it's like that feeling, like I said, people want what they can't have. So do I feel like they would stay once you give them what they want? No. Do they regret hurting you? Yeah, they do. But at the same time, they might stay because I feel like pile one, you are, you guys are going somewhere. You guys are doing big things, big things, business owners. Um, yeah. Very connected to the 5D. I definitely feel like you're very balanced in your life. I mean, like emotionally, financially, very down to earth. Um, and you've definitely surrendered this situation, this relationship, this dynamic. You're just like, Meh. <laughs> take it, God. <laughs> I'm sick of worrying about this person or thinking about this person. Oh, yeah. And you've gone through your glow up. So, yeah, this person is like. Mm -hmm. you're there you're in their dreams you're haunting their dreams I just heard holy shit you are haunting their dreams collective pile pile one <laughs> whoever this person is yeah that's part of their karma though that's for sure part of their karma um what's this person got going on what's this person or people got going on must be no thing. Want to be no thing? Pile one. It sounds like fun. Mm. They're going through s definitely some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, regret at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. They want to, they're trying to hold on so tightly. They really don't want to let you go. They do not want to let you go. Um, and they want you to forgive them. The thing is, is you have forgiven them. I feel like Pa one, you have forgiven them. Um, but they think that you haven't because you won't let them back in. But that doesn't mean you haven't forgiven them. That just means that you learned the lesson, right? Like you, yeah, and they're just, they are in complete denial of, um, it's like this person doesn't even want to own up to, like, the mistakes and things that they did, um, <clears throat> but, yeah, if you saw them at nighttime in their room when they were on their, on their own, <laughs> you would know. I hate to laugh, but, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's like this person is definitely in some regret right now, okay? Because I feel like they did the most. And the thing is, is you're about to, like, you're about to be huge, I feel like. And, um, hold on, just a second. Pile one, my son. Yeah, they're trying to distract you. Yeah. They are going to do whatever they can to take your... Now that... Okay, so here's what I feel like is happening. Now that you are... They're completely for sure that you are not going to let them back in. They know where you're headed. They're going to do whatever they can to distract you from where you're headed. Mm, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's gonna work everything is relevant in a reading so that's why I just allow it you know what I mean like that's part of that that's got to resonate with you you know what I mean like the fact that you're like I'm like busy trying to provide for you guys and here comes my son yeah yeah you are 
Um, definitely no longer in this hangman position for sure. Um, moving six of swords, moving from the dark to the light and holding back from this person. Absolutely. Four of, uh, four of, what was that? Four of pentacles? Yeah. Four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh-huh. Death card. Ended. Done. Squashed. Um, Mm -hmm. What's the two of wands? Yeah, this person, this person, I feel like they try to tap into your, to you spiritually. Mm -hmm. Anyways, they are observing the, your justice, your wish fulfillment, your um, knight of swords. Just I'm focused, man, taking some serious action here. Eight of pentacles, working hard, working hard. This person, um... Seven of Swords is still upright here, okay? This person is still, whatever they're saying, uh, they're, they're still being deceitful. They're still hiding stuff. They're still trying to, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, they regret hurting you. Yeah, they regret hurting you, but for selfish reasons. So, Pile 1, unfortunately, this person clearly hasn't learned their lesson um, in treating people correctly. And, um, yeah, you left them out in the cold and now look at them, five of cups. They feel left out emotionally on the poor babies. Yeah, you moving on for sure. Judgment. Yeah, you're choosing this brand new beginning, Ace of Wands. Uh, something new, something that you manifested here for sure, pal one. Um, so, yeah, this person does regret it, but not for the right reasons, unfortunately. And that's, um, I, I just heard this person's going to be stuck for a while, stuck, uh, just in everything like relationships, everything. They're just going, they're going to be stuck. They, and that's part of their karma. Um, so again, if you haven't watched that, what's their karma reading, maybe jump over there and check that out. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like, you know, they regret it, but again, like I said, it's for selfish reasons. They regret it because they see that you are doing things, going places, gonna be big shit. <laughs> Back then, I, they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me, type time. <laughs> so, anyways, Pawan, thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and like I said, go check out that uh, Karma reading and leave a comment. Uh, to enter in a chance for a free 10 minute personal rating. But we do have to get to 100 subscribers first. So I do feel like that's happening very quickly. Um, so it probably will be by the end of this week. Um, my daughter and I are gonna pick. Okay, all right, pile two. Pile two, pile two, pile two, pile two, pile two. Uh, do, does this person or these people, do they regret hurting my pile two? Do they regret it? For some of you, I heard no because they haven't got their karma yet. They don't think about it. It's irrelevant to them. Sorry, pile two. These people suck. Humans are terrible, okay? Humans are just terrible. <laughs> and that's why we're here, right? To help. <laughs> help. Help change humanity. Holy cow. Okay. So, but let's find out. Let's dig deeper. Let's see. Let's see. This is a good deck for this one. And that one over there. All right. Do these people pile two? Do these people regret hurting pile two? Does this person or these people regret hurting pile two? Yeah, I feel like these people are off in their own little world. These people are very selfish. Pile two. Whoever it is that you are checking this reading about, they're very, um, uh, like, uh, 
What's the word? Sir, help me. What's the word? What's the word? Like money hungry, uh, greedy, uh, materialistic, bow. Okay, so. And um, yeah, here's the thing is this person is not going to feel um, any type of regret until they lose their shit. They will lose their shit. They will. Um, but right now, they are in their own little sanctuary, still doing whatever it is that they want to do, right? You know, got the money, they got all the stuff, their house looks nice, you know, they got bitches or all these dudes over you know what I mean there's so many there's so much going on um, but I did just see 1555 this is about to break down for them okay this is about to change for them but so currently during this time and this very moment that you're watching this video pile two these people do not care they don't so if I were you mm, make it gods let it go Quit thinking about these people because they are the most shallow type of people that you shouldn't even give a flying monkey about. I'm trying to keep it PG. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's the thing. You gave them you. You gave them who you truly were. You, I mean, you really uh, dedicated yourself to this person, didn't you? You, I mean, you, it was like you just jumped all in, right? Both feet, head first. Yeah. And this person, um, they use, they use, they used you for your time and your energy here. Mm hmm. Yeah, this person is still really at peace with their decisions. They they benefit they they benefited from you. You know what I mean? Your energy, your um, your time and whatnot. But here's the thing. That is all about to change. The tables are about to turn. Okay, the minute that you make the decision, pile two to no longer feed into their energy. And what I mean is like, you could totally be in no contact with this person, but if you are constantly thinking about this person pile to, or checking in on them, or wanting to know what's going on with them and whatnot, you are feeding them energy, your good golden energy that is yours, right? It's taking away from you. But what you need to do is you need to follow your intuition let go of this person completely. I mean, just like pray to whoever you pray to. You know what I'm saying? The most high, whoever that is for you. And ask them, you know, I feel like Archangel Michael, that is who, when I'm trying to cut some cords, that's who I call on. That's my dude. You know what I mean? And no disrespect, like he is golden and he is always with me. And I, uh, I would not be who I am today or where I am today without him. Okay. Um, he is the bomb at cutting cords and helping you get your energy back and return back whatever was um, sent towards you, okay? So just a little advice pile two there. Um, yeah, you you know, you're just, uh, you just need to go ahead and make that decision to let go of that. And I feel like the tables are going to turn here. If you feel like, you know, ever since you kind of involved yourself with this person, your life has been kind of going to shit, but their life has been kind of building up. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm hearing that song. What's that song? Um, uh, how's it feel up there, up at the top? Something, something, something. I put you there. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? You are the per. Your energy is what rose this person to the top. Now take it back. Take it back, pile two, because um, it's time. It's time to take it back. Uh, they've had it for too long. And um, now when this person does lose their shit and uh they regret it um something about this red tree y'all i don't know uh let me know if the the color red or standing out or being feeling like a sore thumb i just heard like just 
standing out like a sore something. something I just am so drawn to that right there and I, it's never been really like that so it just something about that resonates with one of you let me know in the comments below for sure um but anyways yeah you know the, you have the energy of um you know of a of a god i just heard that's interesting that's crazy pile too and you're just freely giving it out because you don't understand how who who the fuck you are <laughs> yeah you don't understand your power pile too um you need to take that back you need to take that back and oh but what i was going to say careful buddy um what i was going to say and yeah surrender this to the divine your the thoughts the feelings um my son is sing, singing lightning and the thunder thunder maybe that means something to some of you <laughs> um but uh so okay so you take this energy back and you start rising, right? And this person starts going down. Um, this person is going to come back because they, they will regret it. You bet not take them back because they're just back for the same shit. <laughs> you can tell them this bliss, Corey, told you. Mm -mm. Uh, this bliss that I couldn't. Bling, bling, bling. Hi, baby. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, like, could I come over, maybe we could smoke a blunt, hang out a little bit, Netflix and chill. Um, I'm sorry, but, uh, this was said that I wasn't allowed to. Thanks, bye. That's what I expect. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I want from you. I was, like, you know, you have free will, you can do whatever you want. But I, if I'm being completely honest, Michael, turn that down, please. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, you you know, you really need to make that decision because it's just going to happen again. Okay, it's it's a karmic cycle. This person that you're thinking of is a karmic cycle. They're an energy vampire, and they're only there to take what they can get and then dip. Okay, they're passing it around to other people, their friends, their family. Um, you know, other bitches. So, yeah. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. What else we got going on for Pile 2? Three of Pentacles. Person could actually be having some car issues. I just heard they are starting to get their karma, definitely for sure. Mm-hmm. Could be a cancer. Yeah, they. I mean, they're definitely giving to a lot of people. They're lying. They're, you know what I mean? This person is a liar. This person is a liar. Um, you know, you just need to, it's like two of swords. It's like you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. You want to keep your eyes closed to it. Um, but, you know, this person works with others to keep you down, pile two. And, you know, they do what they can to pass around this energy, you know what I mean? Um, and leave you left out in the cold. But here's the thing, you take your energy back, five of swords. It is a shallow victory, but it's a victory nonetheless, okay? Uh, some of you could have short blonde hair. Uh, some of you could have curly red hair. Uh, doesn't have to be, but those are the ones that popped out to me here. Um, yeah, this person, uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on with this person. They had a lot of competition. You had a lot of competition, um, it, but basically, I mean, like, what kind of what? What is that? You you don't want. Um, it's like 
if it's not just me, then I'm out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be in competition. Like, I got a whole bag to worry about. Uh, Papa's got a brand new bag. Uh, something that means somebody for somebody. Yeah. And, yeah, this person's lying. There's, there's, you know, somebody else in the mix here. Um, it could also be that you are in this Queen of Wands energy. A lot of people are giving you attention. Or once you take your energy back, that's how this is going to go. And um, you're going to step into this. Yeah. And you are going to change, completely change your reality. So, again, like I said, as of right now, pile two, this person does not regret it. Um, they're still lying and deceiving and you know what I mean? But here's the thing. The minute that you, uh, glow up and blow up, um, they're going to try to come back in and you best tell them this was said. Nah, trick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that's just a message from spirit, guys, okay? <laughs> yeah, tables are turning. Okay, you're about to be extremely successful. This person is about to be uh, reaping their karma like a mugalika, okay? So, but right now, no. They still feel like they are hot shit, being a player, doing what they do. They feel like they can still lie to you, um feels embarrassing to me honestly because I feel like you can see right through it so they're really just embarrassing themselves but yeah pile two just go ahead and cut that cord get your energy back give them back their energy and call it a day okay okay let's clear out this energy this space thank you so much pile two for being here liking sharing subscribing and we shall see you next time all right Pile three, excuse me, get the cat making his way through. Okay, pile three, pile three. Um, whoever hurt my pile three, do they regret hurting them? Do they regret hurting my pile three? Do they regret hurting my pile three? Do they regret hurting my pile three? Mm. This person likes to see you hurt pile three. Uh, definitely dealing with a narcissist pile three. You need to clear your space. Clear your energy. Has this person recently been over? Pile three. You need to clear out that energy. Clear it out. Clear it out. <laughs> this person. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Um, confidence. This is you, pile three. You have this new found sense of confidence. Um... This person, pile three, potentially, hmm, and ambitions. You're going after your goals and your dreams, pile three. Mm -hmm. Very content on your own. Mm -hmm. You're going through a very big... A very big brand new stage cycle in your life. You're stepping into it. Something where you give yourself empowerment here. You don't need somebody else um, to kind of validate who you are or what you're doing or anything like that. Somebody outside of you. Um, so, yeah, I think this person maybe feels a little guilty for hurting you uh, but like the other piles I do very much feel like it could have everything to do with it's because now that you're stepping into this cycle they're kind of starting to reap their karma uh-huh yeah mm 
Pile three, are you my, uh, are you my, uh, my psychics, my empaths here? Waking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stepping into your power here. You don't have to be a psychic or an empath. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, whatever it is that you've been working on, creating pile, pile three, it's definitely coming into fruition here. And you are definitely at peace. Um, pile three, here's the thing. I don't think you really care if this person... <laughs> um, regrets it because I think you're so good on your own you're so content it's like you, you're like wait what did I watch this reading for who are we talking about <laughs> so I mean I just heard let's talk about me <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about talking about people in the past, but this was a request, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, yeah, you are very courageous. You're, you're at a very peaceful stage in your life. You're um, feeling very empowered within yourself. You're content on your own. Um, you're following your inner guidance here, listening to your intuition. Um, you know, just you have this newfound sense of confidence and you're gaining balance in your life. So I, you know, who gives a fuck if they regret it? <laughs> That's what I feel like pile through your energy is. It's like, um, I don't really care <laughs> if anybody regrets anything because I am so good. I am so good right on pile three I love that when I cut the deck that was a denial card this person could be denying any feel any any kind of hurt or pain or trauma that they may have caused you they're not willing to admit to their faults yet mm -hmm. there's a lot of challenges within this dynamic um, and they're not willing to um, really kind of admit their uh what they caused right what issues they caused um this person it could have been a romantic type situation they are worried about you starting something um new with somebody new they i just heard maybe they don't want me but they also don't want me to be a little bit of me to be with anybody else um and that alone is shitty. So, uh, but you're free from this freedom. Yeah, you are definitely free. There's no, there's no um, ties there anymore. There's no cords. There's no. Did something fly? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have completely broken free from this soul tie, um, and there's nothing that they can do about it. Yeah. Yeah, this person does not want it to admit the challenges and trials and tribulations that, you know, in a relationship, it's a two-way street. You know what I mean? Like, we all have our parts, and nobody is perfect, but I feel like Pile 3, you probably worked on it, right? Um, this person could be in a whole new relationship, and they just don't want to admit it to you because they don't want you to move on. They want to try to keep you, you know on a leash so that they can so you don't move on because they don't want to see you with anybody else they don't want to what kind of shit is that fuck them fuck them excuse my language that's how i feel that's how i feel about it that is how i feel about it yeah this person is a liar that's also how i feel about it Mm hmm You're starting a brand new beginning. Fool card. They're scared of that. I just heard they're scared of that. Why, though? Like, you had the audacity to move on. You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't come over here and play these games with me. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no. I mean, I feel like they may even be putting this new relationship in your face. Could be trying to make you jealous. Mm -hmm. 
I heard it's not working though. <laughs> because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this person's trying to come in pretty quickly here, uh, but I don't feel like they're being completely honest. Um, you know, I feel like whatever they spit at you, you're spitting right back as far as words and stuff like that. You're just, you're really standing your guard here. Um, and, you know, it's judgment time. Um, it's, you know, it's, there's no emotions here, King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords does bring the truth to the situation, right? Uh, but uh, there's no emotions. Like, this is you, Three of Wands. First of all, Three of Wands, you're holding this ship right here. You, one of your ships has already shown up for you. So I feel like Pile Three, that's why you're like, I don't give a fuck what this person does. <laughs> Um, but then you're waiting. It's like you you know that there's more ships coming in for you. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Stuff is improving in your life, Pile 3. And... Um, This person must be a part of it, but you're just, you're like, nah, I'm cool. Like, I'm moving on. Like, I'm good. I don't, you know, I feel as though, pile three, you're pretty single. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even think you're worried about relationships at all. Um, yep, eight of cups, completely moved on emotionally. Mm -hmm. Totally just getting balance within yourself. Queen of Pentacles in that bag, in that bag, in that bag. The star healing. Some of you could be a star. Some of you could be famous. Death card rebirth. Yeah. Pile three. Thank you for being here um, and clicking on this title, even though uh, you feel as though it's completely irrelevant to what you have going on. <laughs> because you don't really care <laughs> what this person, if they regret it or not. I think you were just being a little nosy. Um, do they regret it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But they're in a whole nother dynamic. It's like definitely a narcissistic situation. They regret... Um, they regret you finding out who they were. Right, they regret you seeing through the veil, I guess, pile three. But you're like, I, I know who the fuck they are. Like, I don't care. Like, this person is irrelevant to me at this point. Um, so I'm moving on. I'm in my bag. I'm the Queen of Pentacles. I got ships coming in. I got business to take care of. Um, and, you know, I got me to love me. I fill my own cup. So that's where we're at with that pile three. <laughs> awesome. Pile three. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, again, that uh, go check out that with their karma reading. Um, once we get to 100 subscribers, anyone who's commented on that reading, I will pick five to do free, free 10 minute personal reads. So, um, again, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. Have a very great evening.